let me uh, open this model that I have here. I started creating the model, but I stopped at one point. So I have a model here that relates for that I have that has four uh, variables in it. One is uh, internet use or the number of uh, internet users in a country. Voice and voice is voice and accountability or the, the me a measure of the degree to each citizens of a country influence uh, public policy decisions in that country. And corrupt is government corruption. And I have here GDP per capita. This is a variable that measures the wealth of a country. Let me centralize this model graph. So I want to examine not only these direct relationships here, but also the moderating effect that this variable, GDP per capita, may have on each one of these direct relationships. In order to examine that, I will create moderating links between this variable and this link, and also between this variable and the other link. And I will do my analysis. The rest is defined as, uh, you, this is a linear analysis. I'm keeping bootstrapping here because my sample size for this analysis is relatively large. It's above 200 rows of data. So I'm going to run the, my analysis. And here are the results that I get, which are interesting. They suggest that the number of internet users in a country influences voice and accountability uh, in a significant, statistically significant way. And this is actually a strong coefficient of association. The voice and accountability also influences corruption, but in a negative way. That is, the more, the more voice and accountability, the less corruption. And that GDP per capita influences this link significantly. That is, in wealthier countries, there seems to be, I'm, I'm sorry, this is a negative uh, relationship. So, in, oh, and this is a negative link. So, what this means is that this negative link tends to become more negative uh, as uh, wealth increases. So, in wealthier countries, there is a tendency for this influence of voice and accountability on corruption to become stronger. And this can be viewed in a graph, in, in the graph here with the shapes of the relationships. So let me just show this side by side with the graph, with the results. So if I'm looking for this particular moderating link, I should look at the product between this variable and this one, which is here, GDPPC voice, is linear. So I'm going to look at the graphs, and here I can see that the inclination uh, for high levels of GDP per capita, that is wealthier countries, the inclination of this line is more steep and is also negative. It's negative in the case of uh, less wealthy countries as well, which means that for wealthier countries, the, the negative effect of voice and accountability on corruption becomes stronger and is a negative effect. There is more voice ac and accountability, less government corruption. Now, another interesting thing to point out here is that it's important to check to see if, if uh, there is no uh, excessive collinearity in this model, which sometimes uh, happens with the inclusion of moderating effects. So what I can do is just go to the view latent variable coefficients window, and uh, as I can see there, all, all of the coefficients are lower than 5, and since I don't have latent variables in my model, uh, the, the, this suggests that collinearity is relatively low here, so there is no problem with, of collinearity. Uh, I can tell you that there is no, there are no instances of Simpson's paradox here either, because I checked that before already. Um, now, 
the effect of internet use on corruption can be checked you know mediated by voice and accountability can be uh, assessed through a look at the view indirect and total effects window which is here and what I'll do is all I have to do is to look at the at the total effect so because these are direct effects these two but they don't tell me uh, anything about the total effect the total effect is provided here it's actually the product of these two coefficients so the total effect of internet use on corruption is this number here minus uh, point 0.384 in other words for each standard dev uh, deviation variation in internet use in a country there is a decrease in corruption of 0.38 standard deviations in the variable corruption so that's a quite a, a strong effect. So this is how a um, moderating effect analysis is conducted.